What's up guys, Magic the Racing Dudes here. You see the post draw for the Florida Derby. I'm gonna react in real time as they pull the 11 horses. This is gonna be exciting. You got the champion two-year-old Fierceness, you got the Holy Bull Stakes winner Hades, and you've got Conquest Warrior, the uh, Sugar McGahee training looks pretty good. The 11 Iris's Dream, a long shot, not a horse that I think a lot of people were uh, seriously considering, but uh, listen, we saw from the Holy Bull, every horse has got a chance here. Uh, with the right setup. Uh, the next horse, Ladon Bro is going to get post six. Uh, second place in the Fountain of Youth stakes was also, I believe, second in the Swale stakes. Uh, he's got, you know, he's interesting. He seems to be on the improve. But again, uh, you're going to hear a trend from me, the, the Holy Bull and the Fountain of Youth stakes. I wasn't overly impressed with anything I saw in either of those races. So we'll see. Uh, Frankie's Empire, winner of the Swale stakes, gets... The rail and it was, a, was third in the Fountain of Youth stakes. Uh, it's going to definitely inject some speed, be, especially being on the rail there going to mile and eighth at the Gulfstream Park for the Florida Derby. Uh, but it's no fierceness is going to draw post 10, and this is not what Todd Pletcher, the trainer, probably wanted to see. What we've seen from fierceness is the two races he's won and been so dominating in his maiden win and then the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. He got the lead. He was on the front end and was able to power away. The two times he lost, didn't get it. It's going to be hard for him to do it here from post 10. Five Real Macho, a horse that was actually my pick to possibly beat Dornock in the Fountain of View Stakes. And uh, I think actually just yesterday he finished running that race. But too bad to believe maybe he'll take a step forward in the Florida Derby. But not one that I'm super excited about. Hades, there you go, your Holy Bull Stakes winner, the upset winner over Fierceness. Look the two-year-old champion in the eye and say, bye, Felicia. He gets post two. That is a great post draw for the number two Hades, Holy Bull Stakes winner. Supposedly training lights out since that race, but believe train or speak at your own risk, I say just about everybody. There's the horse I was interested in. Conquest Warrior, number nine for Shug McGahee. Jose Ortiz is going to ride him. That horse... Uh, his maiden win, you could not have drawn up a worse trip for a horse to still somehow get the win in. So that was impressive. Antiquarian, the second place horse that he had to run down late, uh, ended up wearing his maiden next out. And we'll see him later today in the Louisiana Derby. Bail us out. That's going to be the horse that Irad Ortiz Jr. rides because John Velasquez is fierceness as rider. And bail us out for Todd Pletcher. That's an interesting horse. Uh, I think it definitely one you could mix into your exotics here. Catalytic, uh, second uh, off of a layoff at one at Tampa last out. And, uh, okay, we'll see what he can do. Catalytic, not a terrible horse. Again, uh, not one that I've seen be in a stakes race at Gulfstream Park yet, so one I'm a little more interested in and possibly playing. Uh, Seminole Chief for Jack Sisterson, he shows up here. Uh, the target seemed to have been the Holy Bull Stakes for him for his three-year-old debut. Uh, a horse that won the Florida Sire Series Stakes going two turns as a two-year-old. Hasn't been off to a great start as a three-year-old so far, but there he is. And Grand Mo the first, a part of that photo finish in the Tampa Bay Derby was on the outside of both both domestic product and no more time. But Grand Mo the first, uh, it gets post four for Victor Barbosa Jr. So there is your field for the Florida Derby, quite interesting. What do you think about this race? Let me know down below in the comments section. Do you already have a pick picked out for this? Do you like Fierceness to bounce it back? Do you think Conquest Warrior can go three for three as a three-year-old for Shug McGahee? Uh, or maybe you like somebody else. Tell me down below in the comment section before you leave. Hit like on the video. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Racing Dudes. Remember to visit RacingDudes.com for free picks for every race, every track, every day across the country. And you bet your bottom dollar we're going to have a betting Bible for Florida Derby Day at Goldstream Park. I'm excited. I know the rest of the Racing Dudes team is excited. We hope you're excited. And we hope to see you over at RacingDudes.com real soon.